Hello, and welcome to James the Lessons Express Wing, where we're getting out as fast as possible. Dun -dun -dun. Press F. AAF has already folded. Even after a $250 million shot in the arm from an NHL owner. <sighs> Their ratings were beating basketball. You had regular season basketball games losing in ratings to AAF. Football. People love it. How is it not making enough money? Like the average median salary in the AAF was like what, sixty, seventy thousand dollars? It's not like Colin Kaepernick was getting a twenty million dollar contract from anyone. No, no one was getting paid that much. How did they not make money? All right, the stadiums may not have always been full, but how were they not making money? It's football. The TV ratings were there. Hype was there. I think this is partially because, pff, did you know it was coming? I didn't know about it until like the second season of the second week of the season. Like, wait, 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 what's going on? They have a new football league. Why did no one tell me? Like, there was no promotion or anything. Which is actually why Mrs. McMahon with the XFL reboot is like, all right, guys, here's some things we're gonna do differently. And one of those is promoting. All right, guys, we're going to wait till 2000. We're going to start in 2018, but not start the actual seasons until 2020. Make sure we have investors. Make sure we have TV deals. Make sure we have shit ready so we don't fold like AAF or the XFL the first time they came out. Ah, fuck. I was really starting to get behind Orlando, too. There's no teams near me, and at this point, it's just like, oh, I know that football player's name. I know that football player's name. I'll root for that team. While they play against the other team while I'm watching this game. But I was really starting to get behind Orlando because, uh, what was his name? Ha, had it ready to go. Garrett Gilbert. Pretty, he was doing pretty damn well. He was doing so well, in fact. He was leading the AAF in passing yards. And now, because the AAF has gone under, NFL is poaching the AAF. Which, this is what it should have been in the first place. The AAF should have been like a minor league football squad so you could have had, you know, the Eagles having their team, Vikings having their farm team. Like how baseball does it. Baseball has their farm teams. Like the Toledo Mud Hens are the farm team for the Detroit Tigers. Why did the NFL not have... Why did the NFL not invest in this, have a farm team? So I'd be like, oh, hey, this Gilbert guy, he's doing pretty damn well. All right, we'll sign you up as a backup to our team. Just because he did really well in that season all that. Let's see how you do the role of a backup. Like, they could have done... Ah. This sucks. Because I was actually starting to get involved. Actually starting to be like, all right, record the game for me so I can come over on my next day off and watch it with you. Bullshit. That's also one of the things for football with me is hanging out with my friends because we all love football. So sitting around watching football, drinking beer, eating snacks that aren't good for you, it's just... Part of our Sundays, or in my case, all right. Yeah, I usually get two days, Tuesdays off. So, all right, we're gonna have football Tuesdays. Nope. Tear. Speaking of tear, sad face for Gronkowski. Robert Gronkowski has retired. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him. You know who's gonna miss him more than me? There you got it, Tom Brady. <sighs> he doesn't. Ha he has, what, Julian Edelman, and now he quit, he got suspended, he retired, he left the free agency, he got traded away. Oh, he has no one. Are they going to do like they did a couple years ago, where they traded a first-round draft pick for a wide receiver that they know can play in the NFL, and then you later lose him in free agency? Or are they going to use a first-round draft pick to try to get the... But then again, they're picking, like, second to last. No, no, they're picking last. They're picking last because they won a Super Bowl. So, huh. By then, all the good wide receivers, the best three or four wide receivers will be gone. So unless they try to trade up and the draft try to get a rookie, or, again, do like they did a couple years ago where they traded the Saints first-round draft pick to get their best wide receiver at the time. Man, poor, poor, poor Patriots. They have no one to throw to. Six months later. 
Oh my god, another amazing catch by this guy who was working at Walmart three months ago. <laughs> Usually how they do it. Man, they've been a lot of free agency stuff going on. The Vikings just signed uh, Sean Mannion from the Rams. He was a backup over there, but then he got cut when Blake Bortles got signed. Blake Bortles, new contract, $93 million with the Jags. One year later, back up to the Rams. But still getting paid. All the glory of playing football with none of the injuries. That's why backup quarterbacks is the best position in the league. <laughs> Terrible. <sighs> it's great to see. I think Gilbert got, uh, he got, uh, not drafted, signed by the Browns, the backup Garrett. So that'll be good for them. The guy had experience, like a lot of these AAF guys had experience in the NFL. Then they got cut or they just whatever. It's like, all right, I took a year off of football. I'll try the AAF. Oh, he's actually doing pretty well. All right, we'll sign him to our team as a backup. We'll sign him to our team as a backup. Hey, we'll actually sign you as a starter. I hope a lot of these guys, it's just, ah, I'm just so mad. The AAF should have done well. It was beating the basketball in ratings. Sad face. Man, this sucks. I wanted to keep watching football during the offseason. Well, got 2020 next year when that XFL is supposed to land. Hopefully that does better. Hopefully that continues. Hopefully XFL feels that spot in our heart for football during the offseason. Although is the offseason really the offseason for NFL? Because again, we got free agency deals. We got trade deals. We got retirements. We got new coaches, new GMs, new owners. Uh, what was it? Uh, oh, uh, trade speculation. That Josh Allen kid from Arizona Cardinals drafted last year. Number one. Uh, let's see. The Giants and the Patriots are looking to trade for him. What will they give up? Probably not a first round draft pick. Maybe like a second and a fifth, second and a sixth. Man, can you imagine? Like, hey, I got drafted by the Cardinals and they're already trying to get rid of me. But Patriots? I wouldn't mind being traded to the Patriots. Sit behind Tom Brady for a couple years. Learn from one of the best. Although, when Tom Brady retires, Bill Belichick probably retire. But maybe he doesn't. Maybe Bill Belichick goes, hey, I got the guy I wanted, like Jimmy G. Except this one, we got to keep. And this one, I'm going to put out there. Oh, look at that. We're already up by 21 points in the fourth quarter. We're going to throw this guy out there, see how he does. Huh, he's actually learned the system pretty well. He only threw one pick and... 17 throws. Ah. I mean, can you imagine that you get drafted first? Like, oh, this team really wants me. One year later. And they're trying to trade me. Dicks. But, and then of course the Giants are like, eh. If they hadn't traded Odell Beckham Jr. And you're like, oh, they're going to have me sit behind Eli for a year and then step into the role. Might be a good place to go to. They still got Saquon Barkley. Until they trade him. Come on, guys. If they traded Odell Beckham Jr., they might trade Saquon Barkley. Just so they can keep Eli Manning. I don't know who's more overrated. Joey Flacco or Eli Manning? Broncos get Joey Flacco. Why? I get it. It worked with Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning was able to go out there and win you a Super Bowl. I get that. But then it's like, oh, this guy is not good enough for that team. We'll take him. And he sucks. Or Although, technically, Case Keenum's issue was, when he played for the Vikings, he had Dalvin Cook, he had Kyle Rudolph, he had Stephon Diggs, he had Adam Thielen. He goes to the Broncos, he has no one. Nothing. Now that he's a Redskin, that's if Alex Smith ever comes back. I, I hope Alex Smith comes back. But again, right now, he's he gets paid to sit on the bench. Because it's an injury, so they can't be like, oh, he's hurt, we're going to cut him. And no, you can't cut a player because he's hurt. They're stuck sitting him on the bench while they pay another quarterback to go out there, starting money as we all saw from the trade deal and all that. So now Case Keenum gets paid starting money. Alex Smith gets paid starting money. Then they still need to pay for a backup. Ah, poor Redskins. And again, last year, the Redskins were going to win the East. The NFC East was theirs. And then Alex Smith got hurt and it went all downhill from there. 
No surprise Adrian Peterson has been signed by a team yet. Either re-signed by the Redskins, because it's not like he did bad there. He was doing okay. Until Al Smith got hurt. And then everyone knew, it was like, oh, the guy that got out there can't throw the ball. Put eight men in the box. Even when Adrian, well, when Adrian Peterson was younger, and it's, oh, put eight men in the box, we, we don't have to worry about the throw. He still did pretty well. So when you get him on a team or with a quarterback like Brett Favre that could actually throw the ball, it's like, oh, huh, we can't put him in the box. The quarterback might throw the ball. He did even better. Alex Smith. Alex Smith can throw the ball. It might only be for three yards, but it's going to be completed for three yards. So you can't just put eight men in the box. And so that gave more room for Adrian Peterson to run. Ah. <sighs> Can't wait, though. Season's coming. Season's coming. Yay. <laughs> I love football. Anyways, what do you guys think? What other free agency moves? Like, you still have a... Uh... There's a wide receiver out there that's actually pretty decent that's still out there. Not Golden Tate. Why did you sign with the Giants? Why? Go to the Patriots. If I'm a free agent, I'm going to either the Patriots, the Colts, the Saints... Or the Rams, if I'm a wide receiver. If I was a different position, maybe go to the Vikings or go to the Browns. But the Browns got Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham Jr. So it's like, I, I'm a really, oh, I'm not really that good compared to your wide receivers. Same thing with the Vikings. No, Steve on Diggs, Adam Thielen, eh. So you go to a team that like, oh, we could actually use wide receiver help. We could actually use someone on the other side of T.Y. Hunt. We use someone else on the other side of Michael Thomas. We can use someone else on the other side of Julian Edelman. Go to one of those teams, yeah, you're going to get signed. You're going to go to the playoffs. You might even go to the Super Bowl. Instead, he signed with the Giants. Have fun sitting at home during the playoffs. Playoffs? That's right. Season not even started yet, and we've already talked about playoffs. Playoffs! <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.